Well, good afternoon. One of the quick things that we want to show you is how to run a glow germ demonstration, um, either by using glow germ or glitter bug, which is a fluorescing gel or lotion. It's to really show people how well they wash their hands. One of the things that you want to do is make sure you give each participant enough glow germ. You'll notice that I put a good dollop on her hand, and then you'll ask the participants to rub that in just like it's hand lotion on the fronts and the backs of your hands so that it gets all nice and gooey. Now, this isn't going to make germs on her hand glow. This stuff fluoresces already, but it's just to simulate if you didn't wash your hands well after handling chicken or going to the bathroom that you could have that many germs on your hands. Now, one of the things that, again, we want to make sure that people in your class are able to see is this glow germ demonstration. If you have a large classroom, you would actually want to have this person hold their hands up so that the participants way in the back of the room are able to see the before and after of this, or even better, to have people get up out of their seats and form a circle around you so that they can get a little bit of action and movement in, in the class. Now, before we have Margie wash her hands. We're going to have her do one more quick little demonstration for us. Margie, if you would put that glove on, and this will help to make an additional point to your participants on the importance of washing our hands before we put gloves on. As you can see with Margie's hand, and again, if you'll hold that up high so people in the back can drink, that her hands, if they were dirty, have now contaminated the outside of this glove as well. So that really reinforces the point that we need to wash our hands before we put gloves on as well. We're going to take a break and have Margie go wash her hands for 20 seconds and then we'll see what a good hand washer she is. Now that Margie has washed her hands, we want to see how efficient she was at hand washing. Again, this is where you want to get all your participants up and form a circle around you or have each of your different groups with their own little glowing fluorescent uh, monitor so that they can visualize what's going on to see the before and then see the after. And as you can see, Margie, um, we asked her to intentionally not do such a great job, but some places that you might want to look really closely is around the wrist because sometimes we wash our hands like this and don't do a good job up, up on our wrist. You'll also notice around her fingernails and that's another place that we commonly do a lot of missing is, is around the nail beds. So learning to wash your hands properly is important, especially between the fingers. You'll see right there between the fingers we've got some glowing as well. And also on this hand, the non-dominant thumb, if you're right-handed, you might tend to wash this thumb but not wash the non-dominant thumb. So those are the typical places that whenever you're doing a demonstration that, that you would be looking for. And you especially want to have people get up and circle around or so that the people in the very back of the room can see well and just have that person hold their hands up again so that the people in the back of the room get an idea of the before and the after. So thank you Margie for helping with our demonstration. You're welcome. All right.